Hey folks, welcome back to Stranded Alien Dawn. Just admiring the settlement here. Still don't like the look of that freezer. <laughs> Too space age for me, but yeah, I guess this is kind of space age, huh? Anyway, most of them have gone to bed. Simon, though, I sent him out to go get that ore. Where is he at? Oh, the name's not on. Go get the ore uh, that Carter had dropped off up the up the mountain there. So he's on his way back. He had a weird sleep pattern last time and kind of skipped last night's sleep. So he slept the afternoon and by middle of the night he was wide awake. Rita is up already? She's up already. Wow. Harvesting. Okay. Bring it in. Um, this happened in the night in between last episode and this one, a herd of Olfen have come through and they are migrating through and don't know where they are going to eventually, but we have the opportunity to bring in a lot of meat for, uh, for winter. We are in the middle of autumn right now and kind of makes sense that that's something that we would, you know, that we would do as a Settlements trying to survive on this planet, so I think we're going to make that happen. Um, let's mark several of them. If I do that, I've got 16. Let's selectively hunt like uh, four big males, four big females. At least I'm guessing that's what I'm clicking on. Uh, let's make it 10 total. So there and there. Okay, we'll hunt those ten. Leave the rest to continue on. And I was asked in the comments about the sticks. We see Umiar wandering off quite often to go find sticks. And since we have 410, we've got 70 there that I think Simon brought in a day or two ago. So I went kind of wandering around. This is where we normally harvest them. And... Over here, we got 300 just laying on the ground, so that's where the sticks are. I've had Umair out here cutting bushes. I've had Simon out here cutting bushes. I don't think Edmund ever made it out there. He's been doing mostly mining, so apparently they did some cutting and they didn't do any hauling. Simon started to cut some, some hay, and then we realized all the bugs are right here and chased him out of there. But uh, that's where they are. So Simon, when you get back... You didn't get a meal. Interesting. I sent you to go get some veggie stew before you went off to uh, go do the transporting, and then I just let you do your thing, and you didn't do your thing. Hmm. Well, at least he didn't fall apart up there. So I won't reassign him, though I did take him down to everything. Uh, let's see here. Manage, activities, Simon. Moved all the numbers up one except for deliver, which says hand, hauling items and materials to storages and devices. So I think for the next several days he will. Okay, he will um, just go collect things on the ground, bring them all in. That's that's my hope. He that way he can find all of those sticks without me having to go find them. I know there's. 25 up there at the mining outpo and <laughs> um, sweet meat bites apparently it's the first time we've ever made an exquisite sweetened meal because we have so many sweet syrups so I went through and found there's only two recipes I can find that has sweet syrups um, fruit cake and sweet meat bites I didn't see... Oh, well, there's one. Fruitcake. Oh, well, yeah, but that's in the other one. So, top of each stove is something that uses the uh, sweet syrups. Even the fruits flambe doesn't use it. So, I was kind of wandering through there. I only found the two recipes. There might be others that I've never queued up before, and that's fine. We'll use up, uh, use these up while we can. We need, uh, for the sweet meats, we need beef which Paulette must have come out here to get. Do we have meat in stock? We do. I wonder why they didn't get brought to the drying rack. Is that turned off or something? It's turned off. Okay. Let's not keep empty. Let's turn that, I assume, 
are allowed to get raw okay so are allowed to deliver resources to the stores so here red x is good <laughs> i'm never gonna get that straight anyway you guys can keep doing that and same thing here i think are allowed to get raw from this device okay anyway we've got all that hunting about to happen so we may as well load this oh i didn't do that because we have so much dried meat that's why let me think about that yeah there's almost there's over 1100 dried meat so yeah turn you off go away um actually keep empty are forbidden to deliver resources to the storage i guess that's the way it was Okay, so yeah, meat's going here now. So I have pulled out of here sweet syrups, and I pulled out of the whole kitchen the oils and fats. Turns out all of those, as long as they're under a roof, they will store indefinitely. They don't need to be frozen. So I moved all of those over to this area, and that'll make up some more room for the uh, uh, for the meat coming in the whatever crops are still to come in um, I just got to thinking about something manage and activities let's turn Edmund back to hunt and let's put Rita on hunt she is okay so anybody already take off out there Carter is he's hunting Olfen and what does let them get up on their own Rita had wandered this way, so she's transporting in. Uh, Carter, did you get a meal? You did. Rita, I think you have enough to get there and back without going crazy. Edmund is already constructing our first antenna. Okay, which means it required a power cell either kind of pulled one off I don't think she oh she has three power cells in stock I that's right Robert reminded me that uh, you can tear down weapons by simply right clicking on something like that and it'll tear down those shoes I had told I, I had set orders to tear down all of the laser pistols and apparently oh dismantles there it is for 10 scrap one power cell and one um, CPU no probably an electronic yeah is that what they're called electronics yeah it kind of looked like it, like that picture so apparently we got five power cells out of that which means she could build the pulse rifle takes 20 metal alloy we have 43 not enough resources and it takes three uh, four power cells so where did the other power cell go do we need power cells for these no I did set up one more battery to go into there um, well maybe we only tore four guns down and that's one there and there's three left that could be it so a power cell requires 30 crystal and two electronics and we have uh right there come on give it back to me there it is electronics we have six so she is able to build one now uh, in three in stock, so we're waiting to get to. Let's just move you up one. Yeah, build one more power cell, and then we will build the pulse rifle. Great. So Carter is up here somewhere, hunting away. Don't know if that herd could bolt on him or not. I guess we'll get the warning message if it does. Uh, Rita is. Ed, Edmund is on his way. I'm looking for a Rita. There she is. So she's finishing eating. And she is... I cannot read that. Harvesting. So... Manage. Activities. Hunt is first. Does she no longer have a gun? She has a gun. 
Yeah, I wonder why she defaulted to harvesting. Let's let's see. How do I clear her? Let's clear her that way. And she's harvesting. Huh. Well, that can wait for a little bit. Rita, come on up here. And... Hunt. Hunt. At least those two. Carter will probably get several of them before they even get here. Will he keep shooting? Looks like he will. He won't go in and butcher. Okay. So... We're going to bring in meat for the winter. And the three of them should be able to uh, get up there and hunt and butcher and then get back. We'll have to keep an eye on them, though. Okay, so Paulette is transporting. She was crafting, too. Is there nothing more that she can cook? No, she can cook veggie stew, meat pie. Uh, we, yeah. So let's have her do that now. Let's get some meat pie going. And what was that? There's a bunch of fuel in here. Yeah, Umiar just dropped that off, didn't he? Huh. Okay, nobody be smoking around that. Uh, Simon is transporting. So we'll just let him transport randomly and see what he comes up with on his own. Although he's transporting. That's not what I wanted him to do. I want him to deliver. So Simon hauling items affected activities is transporting. Okay. Whereas handling involves rescuing Okay, so handling is different. Well, carrying, loading pod, handling, dismantling, carrying, burying, rescuing. Hmm. That's still things around the uh, around the house. I think hand. I think of handling. I think of like uh, doing the fireplace. But he seems to be handling stoves. Now he must have picked that up from somewhere. So this is all part of transporting. Okay, we'll just kind of follow him around for a while. Figure out what transport truly means. Is building materials to things that need to be built. I was hoping it was go up and get that ore and come back without having to be told. I thought go get all the sticks. Yeah, we're just doing a lot of piddly work. So if I'm ever going to get him to do this job, I'm just going to have to tell him to do it. So right down over here, all sticks. And thank you very much. Carter is butchering. And Rita is hunting. And there went down the final one. Yes. Insufficient storage space for... Leather. Okay. Meaning what? This guy can... I can turn you on to leather. Let's do that. Your hides. Ah, I got it do that. Your hides only. Okay. So does that take care of that one? I think it does. Alright. So, apparently oh, your smoke leaf and your red meat. Oh, and this one was hides. Oh, that's what's wrong. Okay. So this was red meat and that, that can be hides now, too. Alright. So we're fine there for hides. So, you guys are butchering and Rita is harvesting. You know, Rita, you could haul in some meat. You could do that. Uh, Rita, draft and come over here. And undraft and haul red meat. Hopefully, you'll get triggered to grab that one too. And if it takes you long enough to get here, maybe even this one see how fast Carter is. So you can haul on your way back to harvesting whatever that was. In fact, should I just have you... Rita, you're actually in good shape. You are. I'm kind of questioning this, but yeah, go ahead and haul the three groups in. Let's see. Let's make sure you do that. 
Hopefully Carter will automatically haul in some others. Okay, you're going for that one. I'm hearing a lot of wind. Of course, it does that in the afternoon, but it's not really afternoon. It's only 1. It only does it at 4 or 5 p.m., so I wonder if there's a storm on the way in. So Edmund is hauling in a little bit of leather. Um, Edmund, you're good for a while yet. Why don't you reserve by Carter? Why don't you go butcher Olfen? Okay, Rita's going to keep hauling. Good. And... Carter... Why don't you butcher this one first so it doesn't get forgotten? And then butcher this one. And that is all of them, right? I think so. Good. So that's everything butchered. <clears throat> then I need kind of a Simon to... Yeah, you're bringing... That in, did you bring the sticks in? You brought in quite a few. Let's have you immediately. Yeah, you get you get room for one trip. Come on up here and grab all that leather. Uh, at least grab this one. And you're hauling. Where are you hauling that to? Oh, 20 for this guy. Okay. Noise malfunction solar panel. Okay. Uh, Kana is. Assembling one more power cell, and then she's going to come out and fix this thing. Rita is... Well, she's going to haul quite a bit. Good. I didn't know she had the uh, strength to do that. So the rest of this herd that was wandering through... I think... Well, I guess there's still three or four here, so they, they haven't moved on yet. Okay. So Rita's bringing in 244. Great haul. Carter has got two more to butcher. Edmund is transporting. And he always goes for the, the hides first. Haul the meats. That was Rita. Sorry, Rita. You need to... Oh, you're going to be able to do it? Uh, I didn't think you could haul that much more. So, Edmund, where can you... Pick up something more that's worthy here. What are you? You're 58. Alright, just do your thing. I don't know where everything is now. Simon's already on his way to get some of it. And I didn't think Rita could get more than 244. Hmm. So, let's keep an eye on Carter. And when we tell him to haul in that meat... Will he find any others still sitting in the field? If not, I may need to purposely direct him to it. There's 58. And right next to him. Okay. So the other one, over here. Insufficient storage space for... Two pies? Wait a minute. No way. Alright, so Rita, or Paulette, haul undesired items out of here first. So we're filling this up really quick with meats. So let's turn... Yeah, raw meats are on over here. Uh, raw meats could be here. They are. And we still have a lot of space, so... Meals apparently aren't in those other ones. That's what it was. I think I wanted meals to... Yeah. To only be here so we can find them easy. But I think I'm going to have to put them here also. Let's see. I guess that could be any of them. Other... Yep. All cooked meals. That works. So there's a place to put them. Alright, Carter is grabbing the 58, so he didn't get them all. So where am I now? Uh, no meats there. Meats over here. So Carter also grab these. Uh, that didn't work. So Carter... 
do not right click and grab these now and that's what adds them all together again okay so if you do that one you should also pick up this one and is that it there's that wind again more that's the same ones so let's see this happen why did it say 62 ah oh, there's 13 hiding over here okay so you grab those and the 13 over here yeah so also Carter grab these all right anything else a lot of hides yet and that's Simon right there so Simon also grab those perfect Carter's getting those I think that's pretty much everything. Okay, good. Took a whole day to do that. Now, we talked about sending some off on a trip to Tachyon sources to see if it will improve their skills. Umiar was a possibility. What's he up to right now? Um... It is 1900 hours. He needs to relax and eat. Where are you? You're handling furnaces. And that means bricks. Okay. And now you are handling one more something. Let's get you relaxed and a meal. You liked meat pie? No, you like bread. Yeah, you liked bread and we don't have any. Um. Let's get you some music. Let's get you some veggie stew. And then I'm going to send you off through the night. I'm pretty sure you'll sleep through the night. We'll work on your cooking. Kana. Other than helping her construction, I don't see a point there. Well, I guess I could improve their combats if that's a thing. Um, physical intellect, Edmund... Nothing really there. Simon, crafting. Rita, cooking, but she's... When she's not farming in the summer, oh, spring, summer, and autumn, she's probably going to be handling in the winter. So I don't see her finding time to cook. I don't see Paulette finding time to do anything but cook. And Carter is just strength and construction so what does that leave us um kana's construction and umayar's cooking let's go that route so although i'd love kana to get that uh, uh where did she ever go by the way she is building another power cell now we have she built a pulse rifle she must have. Okay, she would have put it here. That is a sniper, railgun sniper. Now, it says zero in stock. Not enough resources. What are we short of now? Power cells. We still have three. Okay, I guess I had it in my mind that she was just working on one, but apparently not. Anyway, so Kana, you could get a meal right now, a veggie stew, and then I'll send you off as well. Okay. So Kana and Umiar. In fact, Umiar, why don't you do your meal first? That's Kana. Umiar. Why don't you do this one first? You guys can eat together, get a little interaction. And then I'll get you on the didgeridoo and Volcana's taken off. There we go. 
clean up the screen a little bit. <laughs> They're noticing that we're watching the meat. <laughs> okay, so meltdown Carter, insufficient storage space. Let's one disaster at a time. All right, there. So I need Kana. I need Umiar. Two. He's gonna go. You know that's even better. No, no, it isn't because you got to come back in to get a meal. So you play music. That's closer to the freezer. Kana, you are going to take off to the closer tachyon source, the five-hour one. You, yeah, Kana, San Expedition, and done. Now does that cancel? Yep. So you're ready to go. And Umiar, when you're done with this, we'll do the same for you. So you grabbed a meal or two, if there are any. In fact, are there any? We do have a three and a four of something. And there's meats and berries. So I can go ahead and do this one, Expedition. And you are this guy. And that is Umiar and Send. And it should automatically happen after he's done playing. Okay. Don't think he's going to get to 100, though. It'll probably stop him early. All right. So, Kana's taken off. That's probably her first mission, huh? I don't think she's gone anywhere before. Well, Lumiere got up to 80. That's good. 81. So let's see what you grab. So what do we have? We have three veggie stews and four meat pies. And I don't see that you grabbed any foods. And you got the longest distance to go. Boy, that's frustrating. And it doesn't show me what's on their person. I didn't see him go to the fridge, though he may have taken something directly out of the stove. That's possible. Hmm. Well, I guess we just gotta hope. Otherwise, he's gonna come back really hungry and really cranky. All right, Rita is getting something to eat. Edmund is petting an orphan, and this is our first night, right? Uh, twenty some minutes into it, yeah, it must be. Some of these days feel so long, I question myself how long I've been playing. So Simon, you are just getting back from that. Carter is just getting back. He was falling apart. He is close. He's pretty rough. Um, tell you what, draft, undraft. Go get some food. And Simon, you're pretty rough too. Edmund is in better shape. Where's he at? He is petting an orphan. Then he's going to come over and haul these. So Carter grabs something to eat. Paulette is making more foods. Good. And that is it for now. Still have these to haul in for Simon. Uh, sticks. Still have another 180 to haul in. So he was only able to handle 120 that first trip. It'll take him a while. But Simon does need to get some sleep after this. Yeah, he's get back to his normal pattern. But he won't need to eat afterward. So I could tell him to... He's already sleeping. Okay, so when he gets up... Um, sit for a while and then come on out and grab some more of these and when you're done with that if it uh, holds true why don't you haul some of these in too okay Rita is asleep when she gets up let's have her sit also and then go and spend some more time with Prince Training him. Perfect. Carter is gone to sleep. He needs relaxation real bad. He's relaxed. His happiness is on its way up. 
but yeah, we'll actually, we'll have him do some weightlifting. His food will be fine. And then what? What's important for a carter? I guess get these guys built. Oh, that's where we ran out of another power cell. Okay, that's what it was. Okay. So, yeah. Carter, when you're done with that, let's build this thing. Maybe we can get both of these built before the, uh, before the episode's out. So, Edmund is coming back with those. Then he's going to grab some rest. Thunderstorm. Uh, sleep. Nobody's out, right? Right. Though Simon's been given orders, so we're going to have to keep an eye on that. And we did build that lightning rod, so this guy is not protected right now. Where's another lightning rod? Hacky answer is completed already. Lightning rods, let's see. Copy. There we go. Yeah, there's nothing protecting this equipment right here. It all ended over here, and that's why the lightning took this guy out last time. So this one should protect all that, though it's not connected to the grid yet. We've got to get all these built. Tachyon source, Kana. I found an experimental brainwashing machine. Cool. The scientific logs show that it was expected to kickstart intelligence in non-sapient life forms, but yielding, but yielded unpredictable results. And it's noisy. The system seems operational, but its power source has enough power for a single operation. What should I do? Use it. 75% chance to become obtuse. That doesn't sound good. Make yourself smarter. Lose obtuse trait. Gain... Oh, okay. So these are not available. I can use it. I can dismantle the machine, or I can leave it be for now. Huh. So if I'm reading this right, there's a really good chance... You know, if 25% if to be, become a genius, I assume obtuse means to drop your intelligence down considerably. Which, what, adds a trait? I think for her, all we really have is dismantle the machine. I'm not liking those odds. So you're going to do that, and does it tell me what happened? I am paused. Doesn't say if she's bringing back parts from that. Oh, wrong one. There we go. She's bringing back electronics CPUs. I think that's electronics and that's CPUs. And then alloy. Okay. Well, we got a pretty good haul. That's good. Um, lost harvest. Yeah, we're going to lose this harvest here, and that's fine. Um, it's turned off. This one is turned off. That one is turned off. That one is turned off. We don't need any more. All right, so everybody is asleep or gone. So let the lightning roll. Batteries are mostly full. I'm expecting a quite a show here any second now. There was a bone crusher. Prince is out and about, but he's protected by lightning rods. So I'm thinking Edmund, when he's done, he's going to grab a meat pie that he's going to get this guy built. Carter will build this one. Yeah, maybe we'll get to see these in action before we leave. Alright, lightning's starting to roll into the area now. Off in the distance. Rita is sitting, waiting to see where I had assigned Simon first. I think it was the sticks. Only they're all taking a long time to do with anything. <laughs> Oh, the Bone Crushers are still after these guys. Anything left? Yeah, there's still half of them left. Half the meat quality. Now, you don't trip traps, right? Apparently not. Okay. So 
Rita is training Prince. Kana should be home soon. Well, that's waking up. Carter's waking up. Carter was going to be working here first, right? Yeah, bench pressing and global. Or, uh, and uh, construction. Okay. And bench pressing is within a lightning rod. Yeah. Alright, so Simon is just going to sleep and sleep and sleep. Oh, he's up now. Well, he's capable of being up. That's interesting. Right there. So Simon is sitting. And he's going to go transport something. Which we're probably going to have to cancel those orders. I think it was here. So we could have him transport these instead. That, that probably works. Okay, Kana should be home any moment now. Turn you off. Simon is transporting. Okay. So Simon, let's stick to home. Transport these guys. And I can have you transport these. Although I guess you could get this one just to clean it up. Just busy work until the thunderstorm's over. Uh, here's Umiar. Alright, so... And again, let me turn my volume down. But it's probably still loud for you guys. I found the remains of an ancient alien replicator, replicator device. It seems that it was used for the generation of various items needed for the colonization of planets. The system seems operational, but its power source is only enough for a single operation. What should we do? Interesting. So it isn't just giving you a boost in skills. That's the impression that I was under. So what do we want the most? Replicate one random weapon. Dismantle and study the replicator. Research 3D printer. 50 emergency rations. Would give us the ability to make more of the... Of the... Oh, what do you call them? The kits that they use to go up there and mine. Though I think we're done doing that. Don't need first aid kits. Don't need synthetics. Replicate a random weapon, though. Or dismantle and study the replicator. Which would then bring back a lot more parts. It would give us 3D printers, which I don't see as needing. Let's do a random weapon. If it's your weapon, then we'll get a railgun sniper out of it. So let's see what happens. And the answer is... Bring it back. I don't know what that is. It kind of looks like a, uh, a pistol, but it looks a little different. I wonder if it is a second generation. I guess it is the same thing. Look at that picture and that picture. Yep, so I guess we'll get another power cell out of it. So I wonder what I would have gotten if I dismantled the whole machine. Yeah, that might have been more valuable. Oh well, you never know till you try. Okay, so they're on their way back. Uh, Simon is bringing well, actually quite a bit of stuff in. Uh, Simon, you could use a meal, and we actually have meat pies now. No, we don't. Over here? No, there. Eat sweet meat bites. Okay, grab one of those instead. Um, oh, I see. You dropped some off over here that wouldn't fit in here. Ah, good. All right, here comes Kana, and she is needing a rest. Uh, bring the stuff in, please, and thank you. So haul in CPUs, and then haul in electronics. And we can leave the other stuff outside. Oh, you're going to go build something with it, okay? So I guess I have to tell you twice. So if you do that, yeah, you make a few trips, then I'd say head to bed. Right there. Alright, Carter, you are butchering. Ah, because you are now set for hunting. Okay. 
Though I see Edmund skipped all that and went straight to here. I guess I told him to. Yeah. All right, manage and Carter activities. You are no longer a high-level hunter. And neither is Edmund. I don't want you guys working on butchering right now. So once you do that, let's see if Carter reorients his priorities to the other antenna. You are transporting. Alright, I'll just tell you to do it. Come on over here and build this guy. Carter, you're going to need a meal soon too. Edmund, damaged floodlight. Ah, uh, this one? This one? Okay, so I guess we need another um, lightning rod. Yeah, apparently we do. Copy. We gotta get into here. So I guess you're going to do that. I see. You're gonna be kind of in the way of of uh, these guys. If I put you out here, that would be better. Yeah, we'll do that. And power? I didn't notice. Ah, oh, power's right here. Okay, you're fine. So we get those built eventually. Another bone crusher coming in. But something spooked them away. I don't think Edmund was too close. Huh. Really? We're just going to destroy everything, are we? <laughs> what did we hit? That guy's been damaged a bit. Oh, that one's been damaged a lot. Wow. Okay. Well, Kana is sleeping. Then she needs to get some food. A veggie stew. And then she needs to get to work on repairing some things. But I think I'm going to hold off on that just yet. Where is she right now? She's still delivering. No, there she is. Just went to bed. Let's get her up to about here, then give her all these orders. Otherwise, she'll spend the day, the entire day sleeping. Okay. Edmund still working. He's still in good shape. Though, I could have him go and do that. I could. So, Edmund instead, come and... Repair this, repair that, and I think that's all that we took the damage on. Yeah. Then when you're done with that, maybe we can get back to this. But you're going to need food before then. So repairing Tilted Floodlight, which means you grab the, the alloy that was down here. How much do you take? You take 30 to repair. Wow. And you take 7. So we're going to have to get more alloy to finish that one. But you can tap this guy back together again real quick. Yeah. So Simon, you now are transporting poo. Actually, I'm going to let you. Let's get this area cleaned up. Let's see what you do with that. Are you putting it on a shelf? Or are you going to actually take it to a garden somewhere? And, and that's it? Hold on. Where are you going with that? You're going to a shelf with it. Alright, well, when that's done, then come back out here and get the sticks. Then come out here and grab the crystals. Uh, haul. Okay. That will take care of you for a while. Paulette is getting some relaxation. Meals are six tasties and three chefs. Okay, we're actually doing pretty good. Rita is, ooh, bringing in some grain. Good. Not going to bother you there now. All right, so Simon is busy. Edmund is having my own bedroom here as a treat. <laughs> I He spent a lot of time with that mining outpost, so yeah. He's reminded afresh how good it is to have your own room. Okay, Carter is still in decent enough shape happiness-wise. I think you can finish this one. Then you can grab some bread. If we wait long enough, um, 
Paulette. Come and haul some grain. And then make some... No, Paulette. Draft, undraft. And haul some grain. There we go. You do that, and then you make some bread. Perfect. Maybe we need to get them to to uh, make some coffee soon, too. So, Edmund, how you doing? You gonna make it? You're, you're gonna be fine. Alright, you doing that? Carter should be just about done. There it is. Orbital communication, not possible. Alright, at least one powered up working orbital radio. But in order to establish communication, you need at least one and at least two powered up. Oh, so we need one radio and two antennas. That's what it's trying to say. Okay, you grab something to eat. Then when you're done with that... Come on out and work on this one. You can relax later. I think fullness alone is going to perk you up enough to get the job done. Edmund, you need to eat soon. But you should be able to get that one going. So next episode, I need to remember to get them into uh, working on all the lightning rods and power poles and make all of that happen. So we're protected back here. And that's right. There was talk of moving the Ulfans before the next attack. So what exactly does that mean? Let's get fencing. Wooden fences are fine. If I were to run you through here, will that make me take a tree out? How far dare I go? And what has to leave. If these two things left, then we could use this as a place for the... No, open beds are three by threes? Yeah, they'd sit outside. Huh. I could put a third one up, if it'll let me. And then I can get two of them in there. So copy... Yeah, uneven terrain. I thought so. Okay. Yeah, and that just doesn't work. Okay. So, if this were... And I can't just box these guys up. I have to destroy them. Hmm. Alright, next episode we need to figure that out. That didn't happen this time. So that's got to be figured out. These guys need to be moved. And we need to see this guy fire up this time. Alright, Bone Crusher. Nope, he lost his nerve again. You are the other one. You're the bone picker. Yeah. Wish I can get closer. Then we have the Pankoths over here. Yeah, boy, he looks like a buzzard, but he... Something is spooking them when they get this close. Maybe it's the Olfen. The Pankoths are doing a good job of cleaning this up. Alright, so Carter's constructing... It is already 1900, so we may or may not get this done in time. Edmund is getting something to eat. He's got us functional again. Good there. Good there. That's a little bit down, so that's been attacked. That's what that is. Um, over here, you're fine. You're good. What was the last thing? New weapon, a pulse rifle 2.0. Ha ha ha. So, Paulette, you're going to equip that. Kana is where? There you are. Kana's sleeping. So, that pulse rifle sitting in here? Where's the pulse rifle? Nope. 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 Click on it. Dismiss. Dismiss all. Improved. Em emits a pulse. Yeah. So, I don't get the sense it's sitting in the bench. Where are you? Now, there have been times when I've clicked on these and it doesn't show. Now. So, this is the stuff we had them dismantle. These are power cells. But no pulse rifle. 
Hmm. I'll have to track that down. I don't know what happened to it. It's not on Kana. Kana would... Oh, I didn't wake her up. Alright, so I'm a little confused. Are you saying that... Oh... That... Umayar brought a Pulse Rifle 2.0... Okay, I get it. Now, you're handling a trap. You need to rest. Well, you'll get the rest order here real soon, but you're you're pretty low. We'll see how that goes. Uh, Paulette, when you are done, you are going to equip. And you're set for the rest of the series with your pulse rifle. Perfect. All right, so Simon is transporting, and Carter is not too far from finishing here. <clears throat> He's total happiness, so we don't have to worry about him melting down at all. Lumiere is handling traps. There are a few that weren't done yet. Um, you're approaching that line of doom right there, but this is a real fast operation, so I think you're going to be okay. You don't need food, you just need to sleep. And that triggers it, I think, 2300. So you're probably going to relax. Petting an Olfen. Uh, can you just do the last one, though? I mean, you were so close. <laughs> then you can go pet an Olfen. There, and... There you go. Yeah, they, they love to pet the Olfens, even more than petting uh, the dog. Them at the moment. Ah, we've made coffee. Coffee. Yeah. Edmund is sitting. He's back to pretty good condition. And his rest is decent enough. Let's have him build through the night. So when his relaxation is done, you're going to construct and tell you what. Well, can I have you do this? I can't. Okay. Oh, you're already relaxed. I want him to construct the other one first. We'll just do it manually here. Close enough. All right. Pause. Construct this one first. That way you can bring the materials out. Because these already have the materials. Then do that one, and then do those two. And then do this one. So that's your your project through the night. Kana is bench pressing. How are you doing? You're in actually pretty good shape. Can I get you to build this? Construct the battery instead. And that will be done for next time. So we're waiting. Oh, we got it done. We got it done. So in that case, Carter is relaxing, which he needs. Who is in here that could turn on a radio? this guy turn on uh, Paulette is eating she already got her rifle um, I don't know that this has to be manned by a certain skill level waiting to be let's see used for uh, at least two orbital antennas incoming landing spot uses electricity now so there isn't a skill level or a category associated with this. So Paulette, when you're done eating, you could walk over here and handle orbital radio. We'll see that before we call the episode done. Kana's working on this monster sized battery. I mean, that that's quite a bank there. Paulette's gonna turn it on and we'll see what kind of a message we get popped up. Orbital communication, not possible. All right, what am I missing here? Unoccupied landing spot. <laughs> um. Do the antennas need to be turned on? Is that a thing? It's a thing. <laughs> okay, waiting to be turned on. Paulette. Um, instead of bench pressing, can I get you to uh, 
handle that one and then wander over. Actually, who else is available? Carter's drinking. Um, how? We're just starting it. No, we're reading. Carter, come on over here and handle this. All right. Maybe we'll see something yet. Edmund's walking over there, but I had too many orders piled up onto him to change it all to have. Where did Paul... Oh, she's going out that way. So, Carter, you're actually closer. Yeah, we'll let Paul have the honor. Umayar's drinking. Yeah, you better let him go. He's falling apart. So Edmund's over here. He gets to watch the show. So, turn you off. Turn you off. And let's see what happens. Uh, do we have power? We don't have power. <laughs> All right, Edmund. Let's get this one going. <laughs> one step after another. Let's get that one going. And between all that, we should get this guy live. Okay, are we live now? Um, consuming 0 of 50. What am I missing here? So, waiting to be turned on. So we're still... I guess that, that didn't happen last time. Edmund, handle. There it is. Okay. So, you're doing your thing. You're not. So, waiting to be turned on. Was this one not powered too? Or did it, did everything have to be perfect before it would let me do anything? I don't know. Let's turn you on and next time could get quite exciting because I've heard that this will trigger attacks. We're on. Okay, is this officially on now? It is. And we're using a lot of power now. Another 150 just went into the system. So we are negative 108. These, with these guys running, we're negative 108. Ooh. Okay, so we're going to have to come up with some serious power sources soon. Yeah. Insufficient materials, 155. And insufficient power, 108. Okay. Well, I think that is a good place to call this done. Through the night, I'd want to take the time to plan out some more power sources. And, you know, where? We're kind of running out of space for things if we're going to move our Olfen in and find new places for Kana to bench press and punch a uh, punch a, a bag. Oh, I've never seen anybody playing the arcade game before. Let's... No. There. Playing Stranded Alien Dawn. Ha, 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 ha. Although it looks more like uh, Forever Skies with the debris floating past right there. Uh -huh. Cool. Okay, with that, I'm going to call this done. Thanks for watching, folks, and I'll catch you later. Bye-bye now.